All right, so can you use the Xbox Series S as a computer, like a computer? Can it replace your computer, a desktop, a laptop? That's what I'm going to be talking about here today. I don't know if I can directly answer that question, but I will cover some things that will let you decide if you can actually replace a desktop, a laptop, a Chromebook maybe. So by now you've probably heard me and a bunch of other people tell you guys how amazing of a next-gen console the Xbox Series S is. It plays games beautifully, it performs well for the amount of money that you pay, and yeah, you've heard the whole nine yards about how great of a gaming console it is. Outside of gaming, you can actually do a whole lot more, and I'm not just talking about your typical streaming stuff like Netflix and Hulu and Spotify. This thing comes comes with a Microsoft Edge Chromium based web browser specifically designed for the consoles. Unlike the PS5, this thing actually has a fully fledged working and capable web browser. Now I personally haven't tested every possible scenario to see how actually fully fledged and well working this browser is, but I do have a few tabs open of things that I would normally do on like a laptop or a desktop to show you guys to showcase some of its capabilities, maybe some of the things that you guys would actually do on here. Just regular web browser stuff, a simple overview so you guys can see how this thing functions to see the speed things like that. Unfortunately, the Xbox UI doesn't allow you to have a cursor when you're using a mouse and keyboard. Uh, you do have to navigate the menu with either the controller or your arrow keys you can go up and down with. WASD, I believe, does not work. Windows key brings up this quick menu where you can access my games and apps, home, all that stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just use the arrow keys and open up Microsoft Edge. I do have here my discord server open i wanted to start with discord which is something that i would normally use on my computer as an app you can use this on the web browser now interestingly enough discord does allow you to join the voice channels uh use the bots in there as well you can pretty much do everything you want to do on discord as long as you stay on the tab if you are in a voice channel as soon as you go home or try to open a game after that, you would think that Discord might stay open in the background, but it doesn't. They, no one will be able to hear you. You'll still be in the voice channel, just no one will be able to hear you. Because every time you close the browser, you can see that it like reloads uh, when going back in. So now it has to load back up, do this whole thing, and now we're back in Discord here. Anyway, yeah, Discord, pretty cool if you wanted to access Discord for any reason and just talk to the homies without being able to play a game pretty stupid actually hopefully they come out with a dedicated discord app or allow you to have microsoft edge open in background i did look in settings and i didn't see anything that uh would allow that to happen so yeah that's discord next something that we're obviously going to normally do is go on youtube if we're on the web browser uh, on a computer or your laptop or something there is a youtube app but i mean it's different using the youtube app than actually going to youtube and navigating youtube the way you would on a computer. Uh, something you probably notice is this cursor in the browser is pretty big and that's because you can actually use the controller. Yeah, you can actually use the controller to navigate this uh, browser. I don't recommend it. I mean, it's not terrible, but if you have to type, you know, you have to do regular typing and get the keyboard up on here and stuff. With a mouse and keyboard, it's a lot more seamless. You can sit down and use this as a proper desktop YouTube experience. You can right click on here and open links, copy links, share things. Uh, I do have my channel open on here, obviously, so that I wouldn't have random videos in the background. And let's do a quick test. So there it is. That's how fast you'll that's how fast the video will load. Let's go ahead and do a quick test here. I'm going to go ahead and open this video and we have a Mr. Beast ad. So we're going back and you saw that going back and stuff is actually pretty fast as well. Now we're going to get another ad if I play this. And that was also almost instant loading to the point where we were in that video originally. So the loading time for YouTube is actually pretty good. The buffering and all that. Um, let me see what else, what else? If we go on a video, let me turn the volume actually all the way down. You do have the option to change the quality as you would on a desktop computer. So that's really good. Overall, it pretty much feels like how YouTube would feel if you're using it on a laptop or a desktop. Uh, so yeah, that's YouTube. We did Discord. We did YouTube. Uh, let's pause this. Actually, let's exit these. And now I have here Microsoft uh, Office Word. So this one is actually a pretty interesting one. So a lot of people have to use uh, Microsoft Word if they're in school and things like that, or Office Word, Doc, what, whatever this one is. Okay, so it's a Word document. I had set this up previously and now I got confused, but yeah, we can go ahead and start a new 
a document here it's loading it does take a little bit uh let's see okay that was a little bit of a way not not terrible but here you can actually for the kids out there or college people or people that want to do the quick switch from their fortnite match or their rainbow six game to their uh word document you can do that on your xbox which is kind of crazy to think about i wish i had this when i was in school but uh yeah you can actually type in here uh there you go oops and whatever i just pressed uh, i'm glad i kind of pressed that because this is the keyboard you would get if you're using the controller but we're not going to use x we're using an actual keyboard but this one's pretty cool My using uh, microsoft word online in the browser from your xbox seems kind of like an unreal experience really cool actually to think about uh to think about it as a kid that is playing their game and just wants to do a quick word document and doesn't have like a computer or a laptop and has to rely on their school internet their library computer this is actually an option to have a reliable place to do microsoft word documents so that one is actually awesome uh, what else here amazon if you want to do any shopping on amazon you can shop right here from your xbox series s which is kind of uh crazy to think about as well you can shop and do things all this stuff directly from a gaming console let's see how fast it takes uh, long it takes to load and there are xbox series s's in stock right now so i suggest you guys uh go get one it has prime shipping and you can get it as soon as uh friday so awesome there's no fortnite bundles right now though anyway uh, yeah we went through word and amazon if we go here this is your default um microsoft edge homepage. i do believe you can sign into your microsoft edge browser account uh or chromium account whatever and it'll save like your passwords and your credit card information all that stuff so it'll live here on your xbox and you don't have to like put all that information in every time you're going to do something so you guys can't see it but let me move myself out of the way here there's actually no x or minimize thing on here because we're obviously on a video game console uh, let me put myself back so to exit this you would just go home on the xbox button and just go home but i think that pretty much covers like the main things that i real quickly wanted to like touch up on as far as what you can do on a browser on your xbox which uh a lot of people might think is stupid or not useful because if i wanted to do any of my homework or productivity work or browsing i would just use my phone or i would just use my laptop or i would just use my ipad but let's say Let's say you're a teenager or I don't know someone with a desk setup and you don't have a gaming PC and you have an Xbox Series X or S then this is actually a great option just attach a mouse and keyboard on there and you're good to go like I don't see anything wrong with that I could actually see people making really good use of this and it surprisingly works really well I'm a Google Chrome fan but I mean this is a this is an option uh, we can even go on here on Canva and make some freaking thumbnails which is really cool all right that one was just off the top of my head uh but yeah that's pretty much microsoft edge and the web browser experience on a gaming console the xbox series s is once again proving to be uh even more valuable than it was proving before i mean it's a great gaming console but now it can even let you do your homework on it so there's a lot you can do with this console it's very um what is it versatile it's just overall a great experience i recommend it to everyone that is looking into an entry level uh gaming experience obviously for next gen and this is a great college dorm machine or like uh kids or teenagers first video game console or whatever if they don't have a gaming pc then they can use this they can use discord they can browse the internet they can have a desktop experience and even like i said do homework on it so uh, very cool and does it replace an entire gaming pc probably not i mean it depends who you are if you're not making use of other things on a gaming pc like me like i edit on my pc i browse i record i capture things i do a lot of things on my pc i look at photos i edit like there's a lot of things that i have to do on my computer that don't require me to use a browser but 
For people that just need to browse, like someone that's looking into a Chromebook, this is like an easy recommend. If they're going to be stationary at home, that is, they can use this as basically a Chromebook. They can browse. That's what those netbook, notebook computers are. That they just let you browse the internet. They don't really let you do anything else. I obviously don't think this is for everyone. There is a lot of productivity uh, features missing here that you can do on an actual computer. And I say that speaking for myself and for many other people that need to do other things other than browse. And on top of that, I don't think it'll replace a gaming PC simply because you don't have all of the gaming PC experiences available to you. You have a very select few actual mouse and keyboard uh, compatible experiences available to you because not every game is going to be compatible with your mouse and keyboard. I've showed games at work uh, on here before, but I will say this here again. Not every game supports mouse and keyboard, so there's also that aspect of it. You will be able to play your Fortnite, your uh, Modern Warfare, Vanguard, Warzone, a few of the shooters, Halo even, but then there's like Apex you can't play on mouse and keyboard. If you can put up with the fact that mouse and keyboard will only be an option, then maybe it is for you after all. But for some, having it as an option might not be enough. They might want to play all of their experiences on a mouse and keyboard, and they might want uh, more games to play on Steam, on Epic Games, on other platforms, on, you know, that sort of thing. In the end, still pretty cool. Hopefully you guys found that informative or enjoyable, whatever the case may be. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.